Hello everybody, I just decided to start playing some City Skylines. I've been watching a few people mentioning it, um, Candice has been playing it, and I've been working on the city for a while anyway, so I, I'm not feeling that well this morning. I ended up getting a little too much heat for me yesterday. Uh, it was, heat index was about 43 degrees Celsius, so that's 107 Fahrenheit with... I wouldn't call it high humidity, but relatively high humidity. And as a result, I was eating in a restaurant that didn't have air conditioning, and yeah, I ended up getting rather sick to my stomach. So, what I'm trying to do with this city, it's currently paused, um, is that I am... Well, I'm making it look prettier. And the city has a lot of problems, but uh, this is actually a remade version of the city. By the way, I should mention that I have most of the expansions, I'm missing some radio stations, and that's really about it. Um, I do have a few mods installed, but not too many. Uh, the mods that I do have installed are just quality of life mods, like move it down here, and also, um, uh, why can't I think of the name now? Um, present edition, um, Traffic Manager President Edition, there we go. To be able to handle, well, traffic. Um, there's a few custom assets as well. They're relatively balanced, but otherwise... And also I have the mod that keeps achievements unlocked, since I'm not using anything that's really in the realm of cheating. The closest that I have is my... Um, what you call it? Garbage handling things. So, I decided, yeah, close enough. So, um... What I'm doing is making things look pretty. Uh, oh, I should take a quick... First off, um, you'll notice that this is an ultra-wide aspect ratio. Once more, that's my native aspect ratio for my monitor. I'm going to move my microphone. Also, I believe I have solved the audio problems. It seems as though whoever... And so I had loaned my microphone out while I was in Ireland. So my group of friends can continue role-playing at their house. I think somebody cranked up the game to some ludicrously high level on the microphone, and I didn't notice because I always keep it at 50%. So yeah, um, this is my city. This is actually one of the scenarios, although um, there's no reason why I'm not going to win the scenario at this point. Um, yeah, I just need a slightly higher population and to drop my non-renewable energy production, which there's very little non-renewable left and then I'll be golden. But I'm mostly doing this to make this city look pretty. So let's go ahead and add some more trees and rocks. I'm nowhere near as good at doing this as most of the streamers in City Skylines, but that's okay. I'm also not using Prop Anarchy, which means that I can't put things inside of the rocky area, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. But really, what I'm just doing is trying to make things look prettier. This is a spot for another tree. Go with this tree. That tree is tiny. Go for a big tree. Go for a big tree. Really game. Big tree. Thank you. There. That'll work. Um, covering up some of the scars that I have. So I should actually go over my city for a bit. So I have the sunken highway. As you can sort of see. I did build it from scratch. Uh, which cost me a lot of money. Basically what I did was I built a basic city, waited until it had crap tons of money, then bulldozed everything and started over. So, this is my city. I have lots of walking paths. Um, walking is actually used more often than cars in my city. Um, this highway goes underneath the water and over to this part of the city. This is a residential area. Uh, I'll zoom out in a moment. I've got some traffic circles going on, although this is a funky height, I just noticed. Uh, let's see if I can fix that. Let's 
So let's see, that is align with this. Ah, this. Align with this. There we go, that's a little better. And then this. Align with this. This is why I use move it so I can make things look pretty. There's still enough clearance, it's just not by much. And then this. Align with this. There. That looks better. Anyway, um, I tend to use traffic circle interchanges. Unfortunately, I'm starting to get a little too... Ugh, this just looks ugly. Um, I'm starting to get a little too high on the um, traffic situation, which is unfortunate. I guess that'll have to do. And with this and this. Yep. That'll have to do. Anyway, um, this, because of the way I built, um, this is actually where the first dividing line was with uh, zones. I'm, I'm assuming that people are familiar with city skylines. I probably shouldn't be, but I'll explain more in a moment. Um, so I actually have one half going underneath the other half of the map, or of the, um, see? So, one side is going underneath the other side just so it fits in without me having to buy this land. I'm trying to do this without buying too much land. Uh, another intersection over here, then highway turns and goes around. This is a more conventional style intersection rather than traffic loop because, well, Highways are ending, or the main road ends here, so I'm not too concerned. Then it goes over and then remerges back with the main highway again. So this is my city. Uh, I do have some abandonment issues, and so does my city. Uh, mostly, it seems to constantly be lacking in goods. I'm not sure why that is. I don't have much in the way of traffic. Yeah, my traffic flow is 76%. It's not that bad. I mean, there are a couple of bad spots. This intersection being notorious and this intersection being really bad now. But it's not that bad. It's not massive backups causing a lack of goods to arrive. I think it's just the fact that this map doesn't have any other method of getting goods in beyond the highways. And, well, I just can't get enough goods. So I'm trying to shift my city more toward offices. You'll notice that there's way more offices than there are commercial areas. So this line is basically my commercial area, and I'm slowly turning it into office. It's going to eventually just be basically this area, and also another commercial area over here. Um, this was intended to also be commercial, but I don't know if I can even support that much commercial. This is my new residential area, which is border, uh, which is flanked by office space for noise purposes. Um, this is my giant in-city park. This is my Yasun. Wow. <coughs> Tried moving my monitor instead of just the camera. That didn't work so well. Um, let's see what else. I have a decent public transportation system. Let's go ahead and load up transit. Um, I'm primarily using subway at this point. Uh, my subways are actually really, really heavily used right now. Uh, in fact, I think I'm over. Yeah, I'm overloaded at the spot here. So, this is my transportation hub, which is why it's so overloaded. <coughs> um. My buses have similar situations where there's usually one overloaded stop someplace. Yeah, or more than one overloaded stop as the case may be. I am not very good at dealing with mass transit. Um, I also have limp because I felt like it. 
blimp works. It's not great. Um, crime, I don't really have problems with crime. I don't even have police coverage in this section and I have no problems with crime. Uh, yep, because my crime rate's really low. And the reason why my crime rate is really low is that my education is very, very high. Uh, education. Ooh, I'm actually starting to run low in elementary school, so I need to build another. We'll go with a community school. That works. Anyway, um, oh wow, I actually should have been paying more attention to this. Whoops. High school. Uh, there's my closest high school. I should probably have one here. There, that'll do. And university, I have plenty of capacity, and I have multiple public libraries. Although I don't have a public library on this side of the map yet. This is the most recently built area for reference. Let's go ahead and throw in a public library. Um, here. That'll do. Um, Health-wise, I'm doing well. Healthcare I have generally covered. Um, this area probably can use another hospital. But I hadn't needed it yet. I might as well just build it while I'm talking about it. Let me go full blown hospital here. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I think over here makes the most sense. Um, death care, I'm doing reasonably well. My cemeteries are kind of full, but I'm primarily using crematoriums anyway. Uh, pollution, I'm fine. This, this is literally all the pollution I have. It's water pollution. And then the two recycling centers cause a very tiny amount of pollution. <coughs> this poor river. Um, I do actually have a floating garbage collector. I should probably build a second one at this point. Let's go back to that pollution. Yeah. And these are even the, oh no, those are not the eco water outlets. Whoops, I should have been paying attention. Those should have been the eco. How am I doing on water? Mm, yeah, I can make this work. So the eco ones are from the green expansion. Sunset or a ten foot alligator and a salty brine. Mm -hmm. bits will get it to you fast with a smile and completely without judgment. That should allow me to get rid of that so, one. Get rid of that one as well, and then just add a couple more eco. They actually have a full-on water treatment plant. I didn't realize. I should have been paying more attention. Yay. Um, yeah, the drain capacity is much higher. We'll do that for now. Unpause, make sure that my water... And my sewage doesn't go to garbage. It's going to take a moment for them to come online. Yeah, I'm fine. In fact, let's go ahead and close some of these. Off. Off. I think closing three of them would be about right. Let's find out. I close them rather than bulldoze, that way I can, yeah, three of them's about right. Um, I'm going to redo this. See, this is what tends to happen when I play City Skylines, is that I get distracted by these. I'll go, oh, I need this, and then not pay attention to what's actually going on in my city. Clone. No, no, I didn't mean to zoom in on it. I meant to hit that. Close. Close. I'll go ahead and bulldoze these. more water treatment. Like that. 
picked up. There we go. And which will allow me to bulldoze more of these. Which will allow me to have enough space to build another water treatment. And you get the idea as to what's going on. All I'm doing is trying to reduce my pollution. I think I do one more water treatment and I'm good. Oh, hey look, I actually hit level three in my park. Yay. I'll have to deal with that later. I mean, I was the whole point was I was going to start beautifying things and I didn't do that. All right, how's pollution? Oh, pollution's doing much better now. And there's definitely crap tons of pollution down there, but I don't own that land, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Gotta love how this game works. Uh, that means that this floating garbage collector is no longer needed, actually. Which is nice. Um, so my power is primarily coming from not these advanced wind turbines. They're nice, but I'm mostly using that to link these areas together. My power is primarily coming from these geothermal power plants. Uh, they're not great. It's only producing 80 megawatts of power, but it doesn't matter what the weather or lighting conditions are. All that matters is, well, having enough land to plunk, plunk it down and having enough money to afford it. And as people who know City Skylines know, I'm making plenty of money. I'm not too concerned about money. Um... So yeah, I have five geothermal power plants, I think. Four on over here. And I think I have one over here somewhere. Yeah, there's the fifth. Um, so these are my quote unquote polluting power plants. These are atomizers. They don't actually pollute, but the game's coded to think that they are. Um, these are basically very expensive versions of incinerators that don't pollute. Um, it's These are actually based off of reality, for reference. Um, you can do... It's putting a bolt of plasma through garbage in order to melt it. It still has some remains that you need to deal with in reality, but... Uh, garbage is so hard to deal with with a larger city in this game. And this is the clean version, it's a bioreactor, it's the clean version of the landfill. Um, where did I spot that I was having garbage issues? Down here. Why am I having garbage issues? I have no idea why I'm having garbage issues. Yeah, it's just that one building and I'm in green. I don't know. I mean, there's definitely certain areas of my um, city that are not very good when it comes to garbage, but... Oh, this area is missing. Um, what do we call it? Uh, firehouse. Whoops. That should help. That's on fire. That's probably going to burn to the ground. And this area is also missing one. Let's fix these problems, shall we? Oops. It wasn't quite where I wanted to place it, but oh well. And also here. Well, I can fix all of this. I can fix everything. Um, crime, I'm doing okay on. Yeah, this area is terrible when it comes to libraries because I can't fit a library into here without bulldozing paths. But I don't want to do that. So I don't. It's not that big of a deal, I suppose. Um, public transit, you can see. I'm covering most of my city with public transit at this point. Who would have thought the person who is obsessed with walking everywhere is halfway decent at public transit? 
Uh, parks, I do need to park up this area. This is another relatively recent addition. Unfortunately, I don't really have great parks to use here. That'll help some. Yeah, I do, like I had mentioned, I do have some additional assets, but they're just that. They're assets. They're not anything special for parks or anything. That'll help some. And we'll do one more park down here. There. And another there. There we go, that looks better. Um, this area is a bit red. Why is this area red anyway? Let's park it up. Actually, you can handle huge parks. Oh, I would have to undo my You know what? It's probably worth undoing my paths. So if you notice that I had a huge set of paths, uh, there's a reason. I would like having walking paths in City Skylines. And I'm going to just redo this walking path. There we go. And I'm just going to path this while I'm at it. Also, I don't need the second park there now that I have huge park. There, that's a little better. Um, let's get some aquatic parks going on. Another fishing island is probably a good plan for dealing with things over here. That. So that's actually connected. Yep, that helped parks a little bit. Um, little dock area. Do that one over here. I think it's helping parks a bit. Carousel park over here. Nope, that's gonna be too big and I would have to undo my paths. Uh, Tropical Garden is also too big. Oh, this is actually a double wide path. That's right. I have a couple of those around. You know what? I'm going to build it anyway. I'll just redo the paths again. So yeah, um, the way I tend to do this area is that I tend to have a large number of paths everywhere. That way pedestrians can walk as they see fit. Sorry, offices. That'll have to do. A little tropical garden here. They're visiting trop. Oh, that's a tourist too. Nice. I don't have too many tourists in the city. Um, even though I have monuments and everything. So that's uh, looking a little better. Oh, I actually can build the TripX launch site now. Neat. Though that actually has a lot of noise pollution. Oh, wow, that's huge. I didn't realize how big that was. Neat. I've never tried building this. Um, yeah, this is the only spot it would fit, and that's... Screw it. We're doing it. What... I've never looked at this before. Neat. Chirp X. It's across street from a park, so I'm not too concerned about the noise level. This is probably the only noisy building. Oh, I was trying to look at the blimp. Yeah. 
It's the itsy bitsy grip. They're advertising pesticides. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Yes, I soon. Arrow. And this is just a point to point thing. Um, oops. It was helpful for alleviating some of my traffic issues on here. Do you see how many people are walking in my city? It is kind of ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I was working on beautification. I need to remember to actually continue what I was working on. Um, that'll do. That'll do for now. Let me continue what I was working on, which is trees and rocks and bushes. Let's cover this area up some. So I like the aesthetic of having a highway buried, personally. That's my personal aesthetic choices. I also like having paths that are underneath bushes. That looks cool. Also, the trees will help absorb noise, which is desperately needed. Ooh, I can actually put these bushes along the rock walls. I didn't realize that. That makes things much better looking. And there's a little glitch here. This is from Move It. Oh, I can cover up the glitch. Neat! See, I'm learning so many things when I do streams like this. There. Now the glitch isn't visible. On that side. And continue painting this um the burial didn't actually require me to use any of the move it mod stuff i just did it using the normal tools um i did align the highway a little bit better using move it because well it's really hard to make straight highways in uh city skylines oops um, I should probably not have the highway itself covered up in bushes. Pay more attention to that. Which means I should probably be using smaller bushes. Um, I probably need a camera mod so I can look under there more easily. Because it's not going to or to floor level well we're the number one dream makers in the region and you are a motivated driven confident individual also um part of this is that i wanted to test out how well city skylines would run while streaming because this is the game that hits cpu the hardest for me and it's perfectly fine there's no difference in cpu between streaming and not or no difference in frame rate between streaming and not streaming which is what i wanted to see that i'll have to do i'll cover up the highway slightly Wow, it leveled up again. I'm not even paying attention to it. Good job, Park. Anyway, just making things look prettier. Because this was very barren before. You can actually see some of the barrenness. Barrenness, not barrenness. Further down. Ooh, that was a frame rate drop, that's for sure. Um, further down on the highway, because I haven't done anything with it yet. Switch things up a bit. It's nighttime, so it's just looking as shade at the moment. Yeah, so like this area, it's kind of barren. There's nothing here. So this is the area that I'm going to try and fill with trees. I mean, I can also bring in some water structures, but uh, last time I did that, I ended up flooding a third of my city. So, gotta watch out about water. So, let's have some rocks. Mm -hmm. 
Those look more like rocks that come out of the water. They are. That just caused them flooding, didn't it? Nope. That wasn't enough. Good. I don't want to remove my paths. I did a really good job with those this time. cool. I want to put this somewhere. Right there. I have a cave. That's awesome. Sadly, this one's too big. I have a smaller one? I don't even know what this is from. That looks cool. smaller one that I might oh yep I can make that fit there okay let's add some bushes around really wish I didn't need the power lines to go across, and I do actually have a uh, asset that will let me do that. It's a um, Tesla tower, actually. It's a wireless power transmitter, but uh, I feel bad about using it because that, that one in my mind is pretty close to cheating. Otherwise, I basically have no connection between across the highway. So this connects, and I suppose I might actually have... Nope, I don't quite have another connection yet. Yeah, this is as close as it gets. So yeah, this is only being powered by that and that power line. And I like having redundancy, that way if I build on top of something, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and throw in some more bushes. I prefer using larger bushes, because... I don't want to have to click as often. And then some trees. These are going to have shorter trees because of the rocks. It's a rocky terrain in my mind, so they can't grow very tall trees. So I used to have a mod that did a paintbrush for this, but I don't know what mod that was. So I'm just kind of going about randomly dabbing things. Really hard to tell when the uh, currently night and also raining. Uh, that's probably about as tall as I'm gonna get. These trees were probably planted by humans. Not a part of the original wildlife. of color here and there. Hmm. And then 
bigger trees in this area. This was definitely planted by people. Just filling up some of the area. Get lots of nice pretty trees. behind me, isn't he? At least I hope it's his tail and not another mouse. <sighs> Do -do -do -do. I mean, this is technically costing me money, but you'll notice that I've actually gained a million um, cents while we've been doing this stream. Or stream recording. Okay, how does this look now? Ah, that looks a lot better. Really wish I knew why in the world I'm not getting any business. I'm wondering if the culprit is actually my lane changes. Uh, Junction restrictions is what I want. You are allowed to change lanes. Because by default they can't, and I have enough... Yeah, there should be no crosswalk here. I have enough um, things on the ground where... Or enough uh, lanes defined that not allowing them to change lanes at all might actually be the culprit. And the trucks can't just... can't reach as a result. So this is what... Um, the um, traffic manager mod lets you do is stuff like this. Where I don't want uh, pedestrian, actually this one pedestrians can cross at grade. Um, I don't want pedestrians across at grade when I actually have crossings. You can actually cross there because I don't have a connection across the street yet. Oh yeah, I do. It's over here, that's all. That's of those. Actually, no. Um, this is in the area where I don't have trouble crossings. And let's allow for lane changes. Allow lane changes. We'll see if this works. I hope so. Because it just started all of a sudden. I'm not entirely sure why. Just doing the allow lane changes in my commercial district. And you know what? You're not going to cross that. Tripper's not saying much of anything, right? Yeah, the tripper basically doesn't give me any useful information. It's just, I like parks, and you have too much garbage piling up in the one spot that didn't have a garbage truck hitting it. Uh, yeah, this area is really empty, but I have plans. I have plans. So, um, looks like there's people visiting this park. That's nice. And you can connect paths up to parks, which is why I'm not too concerned about ruining my paths. Um, pretty close to the entire city is accessible via walking. And not just accessible, but people walk the entire city. It's nice. Walk or cycle. I'm allowing cycling on my paths because I'm not a cruel, cruel person. This should probably look a little better. So the move it mod will allow you to move things around where you might not necessarily be able to build normally, but in my personal mind and experience, I don't mind doing that. 
right. He's still having issues here. Just gonna bulldoze the ones that are having issues, letting them reset. A lot of death. I must be going through a death wave right now. So, um, for those of you that don't know the mechanics of City Skylines very well, um, death waves are basic. Oops, I bulldozed a perfectly working building. Whoops. Um, death waves are basically where you have. Uh, when you plunk down housing and people move into it, the game keeps track of when they move in as their quote unquote birth date. And after a certain period of time, they will have an equivalent death date. The problem is that if you plunk down a bunch of housing all at once, their quote-unquote death date will happen all at once. So you just get waves of death happening through your city. Uh, the solution is to build slower, basically. All right, I'm going to change these over to offices. spots for no reason I don't okay and just shrinking my commercial footprint a little bit I'm trying to get the commercial areas to be very close to the highway because that should be the correct thing to do should because my city produces nothing I have offices for my industry I have no other industrial anything and I could do farmland I think uh, where's that one at yeah, I kind of built on top of my farmland, but I could actually buy this area and do farmland, and I've thought about doing that. I can also do forestry. There's plenty of that around. Um, ore is very dirty, so I don't want to do that. Not to mention, ore is non-renewable. Nor is oil, and there's no oil on my map. So yeah, I may end up buying this and doing some farms over here. Uh, yeah, I have way too much death going on. Why do I have that much death? Am I lacking in death care over here? Yes, I am. That explains it. Let's get some more crematoriums online. People like crematoriums. I don't know why. They just do. Uh, that's a good spot for a crematorium. And so is that. And let's throw one over there. That'll help a little bit. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? Now you notice I haven't plunked down any new zoning or anything because I don't need to. You all still don't have enough goods to sell. And it doesn't look like my traffic changes have made any difference. Let's start looking at my lanes. Lane connectors. So I really just have this intersection and this intersection, if I remember right. I mean, this is not really anything. Dinosaurus, the only restaurant with the servers are dinosaurs. All our animatronics are so real, you'll think a T Rex is serving you T bone, a pterodactyl is serving you teriyaki, that a brontosaurus is serving you chili dog. Shouldn't need to do that, it should be able to figure that out on its own. Our Raptor Burger Rex, or <sighs> brownies, adventurously named the Dino Droppings. So yeah, it's definitely already figuring it out it's on, on its own. So why in the world am I having so many issues getting goods in? Unfortunately, this map, I don't have a port and I don't have any railroads. Uh, there's none on the map at all, to my knowledge. Oh, wait, wait. That's a railroad. If you can't keep I wonder going, if I should just start purchasing down to get to a railroad so I can do anything with it. It's true. Everyone That's probably a good idea now that I think about it. So let's do that. I have plenty of money. 
Considering the value of your purchase. Wardrobe is a great way to remind purchase. Of your I also have docks over here. That's probably a great plan. Hopefully it's... Okay. What can I do with the docks? Cargo dock? Yes. 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 Let's make this work. Cargo Harbor versus Cargo Hub. Mine's Cargo Harbor and Cargo Terminal. Mm. Let's go ahead and build this. We're going to get you power that way for the time being. Pipes. I don't mind dragging those pipes around everywhere. We'll do that for now. But more importantly, we need to connect you up. Oh, that's right. It's the rail and... Yeah. Okay. Let's undo this. I don't need the rail stuff over here, so I'm just going to do Cargo Harbor. Can I do it down here? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Dozing that. This is very exciting, isn't it? Well, like I said, I want to do, do something chill because my stomach's still pretty upset. Okay, got that. Now I need connections. First off. Are you going to let me? No, you're not. Oh. I hate the fact that that's that type of road. That's not what I want. Okay. So first, let's make a little interchange over here. I think I'm going to make it up here, actually. This is going to be a beautification string. Oh well. move it to make this not look like garbage. Anyway, um, 
you can actually go down a bit. Now we need the other direction of this. Which is going to be ground. Yeah. Actually, let's bring you down. Part of you is going to go off this way. The other part of you. Come on. It's going to go off like this. Actually. I can make this work. I just need to think my cunning plan through. I'm trying to not do any... If you can't tell, I tend to not do too much in the way of underground things because I like watching traffic. spread out but that's fine okay so I've got both directions now and over here at least they are ground level sweet okay so this highway is gonna be going like this through the forest get about there and we're going to have one branch off like this and the other branch off like this sure this is the correct direction oh yeah i need to deal with police and trash popo tiny little popo thing there that'll be good enough and then this connects back up This is the annoying one. So let's go ahead and pause and bulldoze this. All oh, right, I need to make it roadside first for some dumb reason. Ah. this there then bulldoze this so now this road is at a right angle to this line I think that might be the correct number of steps I didn't actually look I'm off by one number of steps close enough I'll make it work uh, 
Ah, the things I do for this game. Rail terminal. Yeah, it's one off. But again, I can make this work. Actually, this is not a terrible plan. You'll see why in a moment. Maybe. Uh, why are you not giving me the correct guideline for this? Because I always like making sure that there's a bypass in place. When I actually start having more than one terminal, it's going to be very useful to have that bypass. Okay. Uh, that should actually be one line, not two. that. I believe that should be correct. We'll find out if I have this backwards. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. be one way or one lane there now I should have both of those um, let's go ahead and get ourselves some wind power here and branch off on pipes and small police substation oh this is one way need to remember that that's important um, yeah it's gonna be easier for me to pull those and recreate I believe that's the way I need the police substation. Okay. Now I should have everybody connected. Garbage is going to take a bit. I should probably throw in garbage somewhere over here. That everything connects to. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's do that. stop style area I feel like I'm halfway to just starting to talk about happy little trees at this point but whatever Bob Ross is awesome there and I need water oh my water is not where I thought it was that'll work and thus comes the cargo okay that part looks to be where oh, I can't control that one. I think I have it working. I can't tell until I have cargo arriving, which I'm probably not going to have much of now that I think about it. Why am I not seeing actual train stop? Oh, there's the train. Choo choo, sucker! Yep, these are all the imports that I needed. Okay, good. This should start fueling my economy a little bit better. Cost me a huge amount of money, unfortunately, but oh well. So by putting it here highway-wise, this allows it to go this way, which will link up over here, and also this way, which will link up over here. It should make things better. Oh, um, let's make this easier for everybody involved. This is now a four-lane highway. I didn't construct this intersection, obviously, since I just bought the area. Um, 
focus on making great meals every night at, at the old there. They're going there. They're going there. They're going there. Colossal ore. We are the leading and producer of minerals. This is going to be upgraded to two lanes. Which means you're benefiting from our services, whether you know us or not. No matter what our critics say, at Colossal, we care about our employees, as well as our customers, which is why we work so hard to get our miners back so the way it was, was probably fine. Together, we can reunite minerals with the people who love them. Colossal ore. More than ore. Actually, yeah. I can, I can make this work better. You're listening Come on. to Synthetic Dawn Radio with Jessica Stafford. There. It glitches sometimes when I do that. Okay. And now switch back over TPP lanes. Yep. Like so. Um, this one. We're doing this so I don't have transit backup, basically. There. This should be obvious, but I want to make sure it's very obvious. Should have massive amounts of traffic. Really. But at least I don't have people constantly complaining about a lack of goods anymore. Hooray! Okay, so I fixed the problem rather than, you know, making things pretty. Let's take a look at my central park. So this is for the park life mod, or not mod, um, expansion. Uh, this is a nature preserve. There we go. So I have a bunch of new things, including fishing cabins and, oh, looks like my canal finally drained. I tried making a lake over here and that's, remember when I had mentioned I accidentally flooded a good chunk of my city? Yeah, that was how. Um, just seeing all of my options. It's the first time I've used the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, Park life mod. Damn, I keep calling it a mod. I mean, it basically is, but this is the first time I've used Park Life, the expansion. And basically, what Park Life allows you to do is design your own park, and that's what I've been doing here. so I can actually move this stupid thing. There we go. Go back to the lighted path, because this is going to be a main path. Let me get there. Also, we're going to upgrade this to a lighted path, because this is now a main path. There. Um... I would like fishing cabin and so on, but I didn't put my park in near water. So none of those are going to do me any good. 
hunting cabin. I mean, you can hunt for, for, for pictures, I suppose, because I don't want actual hunting. Uh, we're gonna put you there. Oh, they're poppable tiles, neat. Meow. What is it, is it? Meow. I'm right here. You want attention? Come up on my lap. I would love to give a kitty attention. There's so many different little itty bitty ploppables. You know what? You all need an outhouse over here. It's going here. Uh, let's make another campsite here. Another one here. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Bouldering site. The park to rule all parks achievement. Have a maximum level park made with the park tool. Okay, sweet. Um, well, we need to remove that and re-add those paths because I didn't realize it was going to wreck the path. Meryl. I ain't seen. Oh, he's not quite on camera, is he? Maybe I can point it that way. You can sort of see him now. Um, that's the main gate. I don't want more gates. I need... Tents. And more importantly than everything else, we need rocks and trees. Oh, that's right, I gained that new thing. I should look to see. Bouldering site. The bouldering site belongs near the boulders. We'll do a couple of those. And then let's go add some rocks. You notice that I still have not actually plopped a single zone down during this time. Um, this one's too big to fit, isn't it? Drat. This one? Nope. I'm not gonna fit that. I'm leaving this for the last parts of my expansion. Uh, no, not quite. Drat. There we go. That looks cool. Some of that. This would be a really cool park in my mind. Well, this particular place is to look out over the sea of trees, concentric colors. This is obviously not a natural park. I wasn't going for natural, I was going for pretty. I mean, natural can be pretty, don't get me wrong. It's just, that was not my goal.
I have a lot of tree assets. Put some brown cover right here. You know, we're on the bioreactor. Yes, you do. That'll work. Okay. So, maybe I should actually finish my objective. I need slightly higher population, but I don't have population growth right now. I do have plenty of commercial and industry growth now, though. So, let's commercialize that. Industry. This area is going to be, or by industry I mean offices. That area is going to have offices. down offices in little itty bitty spots that are left. So if you can't tell, I kind of have a pattern when it comes to my city building. Anything that's near highways is going to have to be things that are going to be importing stuff. So that's where primarily commercial things are. Also some offices if I don't have enough commercial demand. Um, residential areas are kind of dead center, so they're a bit insulated from noise. Uh, so if I switch this over to noise, you can tell that a lot of the noisy areas are not actually residential. Like this is extremely noisy and none of it's residential. This entire area, there's just this spot that's residential and the edges are a little noisy and that's about it. Uh, this area is really noisy. Commercial tends to be really noisy along with um, bus terminals and the Statue of Liberty and space launch site. Launch rocket? Can I really launch a rocket? That'd be cool. I have no idea what's saying because I don't have headphones on right now. I was noticing that my headphones were getting a little wonky on things. Oh, oh. Awesome! This is, by the way, not a mod. Also made people happy down there. Sweet. It's not causing pollution, right? Nope. Okay, sweet. I mean, it's causing noise pollution, but noise pollution I can deal with. That's fire safety, not noise. That's noise. Yeah, noise pollution is not that bad. Especially given that it's across the street from a park. Yeah, that area is bad. But that's fine. People don't live there. Uh, ha what? Why is that? What? What are you doing? Why are you not connected anymore? That doesn't make any sense. Oh. Um, let's see. What else do I got? I don't really have too many signs, actually. Interesting. And everybody's lights are turning on. It looks like I am lacking in workers over here. Yeah, not enough workers. I mean, it's not bad. Oh yeah, my education, just everybody's highly educated. Yeah, I'm not doing heating. This is not a very uh, noisy map, or cold map. Outside connections, okay. Yeah, I have next to nothing in exports. Yeah, I have nothing in exports, actually. 
This is just what was there before I bulldozed everything. I am importing goods. Lots and lots and lots of goods. I don't have a tiny amount of mail. I don't have anything handling mail right now. Prism's uh, up a little. Fire safety is still pretty bad, as expected. I'm usually not very good when it comes to fire safety. That stuff is just going to burn to the ground. Uh, pollution is zero, which is nice. Uh, health is fine-ish. You'll think a T Rex is serving you T bone. A pterodactyl is I am fine on capacity for education at this point. Water is fine. Energy is fine. You don't need to give me a tooltip. Happiness is generally fine. Commercial is a little low, but it's only a little. Industrial happiness is zero because I have no industry. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Employment is 16%. Wow. I really need more commercial and offices. Traffic is holding steady at 76, 77. This road, though, uh, I should do something about this. Why are you so bad? Oh, because you have stoplights. And you're an avenue. Well, I can fix the avenue part. Actually... I think you should be a major road at this point. For this section, at least. Uh, you soon. You will be Boulevard. That segment, and... We'll also go this one. There. That'll do. That will help some. It's going to take a while for it to help, though. Uh, let's see. Restrictions. I need to turn off crosswalks still. There should be no crosswalks along this road at all. I really can't see through you, Zone. Hey, soon. Dang it, brain. For some reason, I always tend to swap names of my cats. Oh, wow, I've been recording for almost an hour and a half. I'm gonna stop this somewhat soon. And here I was thinking it was going to be short, but I know how that works for me. Also gonna need to look at street lights. None of these should have street lights other than this intersection here. I mean, the crosswalk shouldn't be used anyway, because usually uh, sims are really good at not using crosswalks if you have, like, the covered things like what I have. Okay. Go like that. That will help some. Next thing I need to do is... Oh, this needs to be upgraded. We'll upgrade you to two lane. There we go. That should help a little. And then let's manage this intersection because this intersection is going to be a load of garbage. So, first off, you can turn. The only downside with having my cool bridges, I mean, look at how many people are walking! That's awesome. Or there. You are going to have a dedicated turn left lane. Your turn rights are going to be there or there. You have two lanes. You're going to go there or there. 
you're going to all right sorry if anybody's getting dizzy from this there there finally you dedicated left turn lane straight across turn right or straight across there and then this would probably have time traffic lights actually uh, set up time lights I'm not good at this by the way I've never been able to do this That didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> Step four is going to be that. Not those. see how well this works. What in the middle of the intersection do you have here? You should have right away. 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 That one I'll deal with in a bit. This road should basically have right away. up somehow. Probably. I'm not good with traffic lights. Okay. Left turn and right turn. That should be fine. Oh, it's because this is backed up. Boy, is this backed up. Wow. Okay, I guess this is going to need to upgrade also. roads backed up because that's one of the interchanges for the interstate. Oh boy, I made traffic worse, didn't I? Yep. I mean, this part's less bad. It's just this intersection now. And all of this. Hey. Hey. 
I'm just going to leave it alone for now because I've been recording this long enough. It's been just about an hour and a half. And I have not beautified enough. Let's just finish that up. Please. That's the wrong type of tree. Oh well. There'll be some transplants there. I want these. This is going to be a green area. I want green. Yeah, my frame rate's dropping constantly because City Skylines is is mostly a single-threaded game. So I'm looking at the CPU and it's bouncing between multiple cores, which is not good for it. I should probably figure out how to do a thread lock of some variety. Oh, this area actually needs to be covered as well. I don't know how to do that yet. I'm still getting used to my desktop. I mean, I've only had it for two weeks. Give me a break. Uh, do, 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 do. We'll get some texture into here. Kind of looks like Kudzu has covered everything. No. Back for more attention, I seem. I should tilt this back where I'm actually centered on the screen. Uh, yeah. Hmm, I should increase my pop slightly more. I say I stop and then I don't. I know how I work. Let's make that people. Really, I should probably cut this park off a little bit, but this is so noisy, I don't want to. Uh, this area would actually work halfway decent for residential. probably reduce the amount of commercial over here though because that's part of the reason why it's or reduce the amount of office that's part of the reason why it's so heavy traffic is because there's so much office here um yeah don't really want to build anywhere else um hi yasin oh Yes, kitten. Let's see. I have had 17,000 visitors. Nice. I'm actually making a lot of money off of that one park. Neat. I should do that more often. This is what we're... Yeah, this is lower level. Oh, I love those buildings. Look how cool that looks. And there's another one in green. Sky rises and everything with the little central park area. Uh, rather nice. Rather, rather nice. I'm at an hour and a half. I really need to stop it for now. Hope you've enjoyed me playing some City Skylines. Um, I just did this on a whim, basically. So that's what I wanted to play. Um, let's get this out a bit. Make my path. Remove grid guidelines to make my path because the game is dumb when it comes to this. These are straight lines. You can re add grid now. Oh, 
Oh, that would be why I'm having weirdness. That's too tall. There we go. Kind of aligned to, to the road. You to you That'll work. You'll break box office records of fun as you take a trip to Tinseltown Movieville, USA. <laughs> Action, cut quiet on the set. Our theaters feature noise absorbing fabric, guaranteeing the only thing you hear is the movie. That high pitch we're going to have a little is office park over here. The sound your ears hear when there's nothing for your ears to hear here. So come on down and enjoy the movies where everyone's a star. Make sure I count that. We've been making the best in mobile phones for Four, over 20 years. How did we get five, there? Six, seven, eight, nine, By putting ten, ringtones in every 12, commercial that make 15, you think 14, your 15, phone's 16. ringing. Whether you have a new phone, an old phone, not or helping. just leave it on vibrate, we make sure you always hear your phone in our commercials. I think that's one extra. It's our way of saying, we hear you. So don't be silenced when opportunity calls Four, pick it up. Five, it's six, for seven, you. eight, Off nine, mobile. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, it's perfect. Sweet. Uh, you want to build in 4x4 four four blocks for optimalness. You don't necessarily want to build in 4x4 four four blocks because it's ugly. This, is synthetic dawn radio, and I'm Jessica Stack. this area is supposed to be an office park, so I'm actually making it for optimal, not for pretty. Dump, 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 dump. dump. And dump. There we go. Oh, I'm playing at slower speed. That explains a few things. Yeah, you're covered with that. Uh, you'll have power soon enough. A little office park area. Really ugly path, but this game does not do paths very pretty. We can make this path work better. We have the technology. There, that's a little better. I guess. the spark area and by internet I'll just stop the recording and I'm gonna continue playing for a bit bye